<laughs> whoop de loops Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 10.2. I'm an old guy gaming, and um, we've got a couple of troop transports, just and drones that were just kind of in stasis, I guess, waiting for us to go back to the cave base. I guess that's really weird. I just happened to notice them because I started flying over here to to work on something for the ba the Xerax base. Interesting. Tell you what we're gonna do. Let's um let's see if our, our defenses that we set up at the cave base um can actually withstand this attack. They're obviously not going um after our base over there, which is really weird actually. I wonder I don't know how that's gonna work. That might be <clears throat> present a problem for us. We might have to actually um, deactivate the cave base to get him to go after the other one. I don't know. Well, you know what, though? They're probably not going after the other one because we haven't powered it up yet. So that's probably what it is. That's my guess, anyway. I hope that's what it is. But anyway, let's uh, let's beat him over there and get the shields on. And then I just want to see... Um, they have a little a little ways to go. That's really weird, though, because... Usually when, you know, you get the attack warning, they're there, like, within, you know, a minute or less. So, I don't know. That, that That's just bizarre. They're probably just... Maybe the AI's a little confused. Because we were over in their territory, maybe, or something? I'm not really sure. All right, well, let's, um, I mean, because our cave base is a long ways away. What I'm going to do is run over there, turn the shield on, and just wait for them, and then we'll see what they do. I mean, I could easily take them out right now, but that's not the point. I want to see if the defenses that I put in place, uh, you know, now are adequate. So, so let me get over there, um... <clears throat> and get the, the shields up, and then uh, let's just see what happens, okay? So I'll meet you guys over there. All right, guys, I'm back, and uh, they are coming in. In fact, uh, they're getting ahead of me. What I actually ended up doing is barring, like, a backdoor tunnel away from the base. Um, <clears throat> so if ab absolute worst came to worst, looks like I went up a little higher than I needed to, but that's right. Uh, worst came to worst... I could come back through and get through this way if I wasn't able to get through the front door. Uh, but let's zip on back there. Um, can we actually use our motorcycle in here? And let's see what happens. I got the shields on. And uh, I just want to see if the defenses that I set up can withstand this onslaught. My tunnel got a little bit wonky here. But it's uh, enough to get me back over here. So this is just, you know, the outside the base, and this is the core back here. So if they take manage to take it over <clears throat> and, you know, and they kill me, then I can respawn and come back through this back tunnel and uh, take the core back out. We're going to do something similar on uh, the, the Xerax base, too. But uh, let's just see what happens here. So we've got a bunch coming through this way and a drone coming around that way, too. So I'm just curious to see how we do. Uh, we should have plenty of ammo. Oh, here we go. Okay, so they're firing. Okay, that drone went down. We've got three drones coming over this way. <clears throat> they had they had two troop transports with them though too. Um, So those guys are not not doing too well. I'm not really too worried about the drones. It's the troop transports that could really mess up, uh, mess us up. Okay, we're wasting him. 
Um, one thing did happen, though. See, these are just drones. I don't see any transports at all. Um, the game did crash on me, <clears throat> so I had to reload. And I'm a little concerned about that. But uh, let's just see what happens. I've got the JJ parked in the upper hangar there. So this other drone's way off this way. Where the hell did he go? So those are drones. I don't see any troop transports. Interesting. I wonder if the cr something happened when you know when the game crashed and they disappeared. These guys look like they ca they're continuing on, like they're not even going to come back this way. Are they going? Do they go all the way around the globe just to go to this base? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Um. Okay, they're out of sight. I think what let's do is let's jump in the Jade Jet and fly back that direction and just see if those troop transports are still on the way. Next attack now. So we're still under attack. So my little tunnel I dug uh, comes out right here. <clears throat> I, <laughs> I went up quite a ways, actually. <laughs> But uh, it's kind of hard to, to keep it, you know, when you're doing it by hand anyway, it's kind of hard to keep it level uh, when you're in a tunnel and you don't have a really a frame of reference to know what is level. It'd be kind of cool if the game had like some, like a level indicator on your, uh, on your drill or something. But anyway, let's just fly back this direction and see if, if we can spot those troop transports. I would th think they would have come at the same time, you know, that the drones did, because usually that's what happens. But like I said, my game did crash, so something bugged out, and maybe, you know, maybe that's what happened, I don't know. It was weird, too, that they were just kind of in stasis there anyway, until I got close enough to them, you know, to start moving again. So that was a, a bit bizarre, too. I want to, I'm starting to think they probably... Something happened, you know, when the game crashed in there. They didn't... They didn't make it. But we'll just fly the, you know, the path back there and just see what happens. Okay, guys, so I'm, I'm back here at the, uh, the new base. And we've got a troop transport that's just kind of hanging out right here. I don't know. They seem to be really buggy for some strange reason. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and just go blow him up because um, I just don't know what the hell he's doing and I don't want to uh, have him you know, cause problems for us later on. So yeah, he's, it's like he's almost like he's stuck in the mountain or something. What are you doing, man? Well, he's not really stuck in the mountain. He's just stalled out. glitching out there. Well, let's send him packing. Oh, there's two of them there. Okay, so those are the two that started going after the base earlier. But, uh, like I said, the game crashed, and so I'm guessing something just bugged him out. Must have... <laughs> loop de loops Ooh, look at that. T2 sniper rifle. That's a nice find. That is a nice find. We'll take it. Okay, so that takes care of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the plan is um, that we're gonna make we're gonna make ourselves a tunnel, uh, and it's gonna head east uh, from the base. What are you shooting at? 
no troopers. Uh, it's going to head east from the base. It's going to basically be the same kind of idea that we did at the mountain base, where if um, if they hack our base, um, you know, it's. I didn't see this happen um, earlier when you know the first time they take my that they took my base over, but you know when they take your base over, the guns are supposed to turn on you, and I don't want all of these guns turned on me. That would not be um, that would not be pleasurable. <laughs> So, um, what I want to do is I want to be able to get back to the core uh, through like an underground access tunnel, but that's far, the, where the entrance is far enough away to where these guns aren't going to be shooting at me, okay? So, our longest range gun is the plasma cannons, and let's take a look and see once again what the range is on those things. So, we'll go to devices, uh, plasma turret. And its range is 310 meters. So we've got to dig a tunnel that's beyond 310 meters of this base. Where, well, that where the entrance is beyond 310 meters of this base. So that if the worst happens, you know, we can we can get back to it and destroy the core and retake it over. Okay, so uh, that's what we're going to be working on. Now, here's what I did over here on the um, on the solar panel farm. So it's it's. Um, Basically, just these these panels. Wow, these panels. We're getting th three green squares now. They're only getting one. I don't know why that is. That's weird. Um, every other direction would only give me two and one, but this direction was giving me three, and now it's only showing one. So I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Uh, because you know, this tells us, you know, what the potential is. And obviously you want to get four, but three is better, you know, if three is all, all I could get. And this tells us what it's currently getting based upon, you know, how much light, sunlight, and so forth. So I guess, shit, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. If, if, you know, when it's daytime and the sun's out, if those are still one, then something's buggy. Anyway, this is our capacitor room. So I've got ten capacitors in here. And we have the max number of solar panels that the game allows, which is 15. No, 12. Yeah, 15. So, oh, I thought I saw an enemy ship coming in. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what the hell's going on with this. This bugs the hell out of me because I tried it so many different times just to make sure that that was the best angle. I think I'm going to leave it alone for now until... Uh, until daytime, when, and when it's daylight out, we'll check it again. And if it's still one square, we might have to rotate those a different direction. Anyway, it is what it is. Okay. So, let's see. The plan for this tunnel now is that we're going to... Let's cut the thrusters on this guy. Okay. And I think we're going to dig down to the tunnel... I mean, to the core. Um, I'm just, I don't know. We could just go straight down to it through here, but the thing is, is it's right underneath here, so we don't want to disconnect it. Um, I wasn't necessarily planning on... Well, the more I think about it, though, we probably should have an another access down there, because I, I, I can't see the Xerox going down. Well... Maybe they could. I don't know. Let me let me worry about that in a bit. Right now, we're just going to do the the uh, tunnel that's going out from the base, and then I'll decide if we need a, you know a, a secondary access that's closer to the base. The downside, if I don't do that, of course, is that I have to run 310 meters all the way back down the tunnel to get back out to get back to the base, um, and that's just kind of a pain in the ass. Now it wouldn't be super bad, I guess, with the motorcycle, but still. Uh, let, let me, you know, I'll, I'll have to think about that, how I want to do that. For now, though, we're just going to go straight down. And then once we hit the core, then we're going to horizontally dig uh, to the east. Let me make sure I've got plenty of drill charges. Uh, I got eight. Yeah, that should be plenty. I mean, I could... I could use the hovercraft, but getting the hovercraft down there is going to be its own pain in the butt. What I might do is use the hand drill to drill out and then if I feel like the tunnel needs to be larger then we could start on that end with the hovercraft drill and come back and make it bigger but 
I don't know if I want to do that though, because this is kind of like supposed to be a secret tunnel way. It's not supposed to be like a big ass, you know, parking garage type tunnel. Um, so let's go ahead and pull this block up and that block up. Now, um, if I need to get back out of there, I should probably have some elevators with me. So, let's see, Xerox Defense Base, that's what I named this place, by the way. Does the chisel have more elevators on it? It's got 15. Okay. I don't know if we'll be going down 15 or not, but let's just see. Let's just see. So, we're going to try and go basically straight down from here with the drill. And I'm going down with it as opposed to using the drone because, like I said, we have to, we have to drill a tunnel that's over 310 meters away from the base. This was the original uh, tunnel there. I might fill that in at some point. Okay, there's the core there. Okay. Um... Okay, so there's the core. Now we're going to turn east. We're going to try and stay as level as we can. It's really hard. Oh, you know what? I guess if you look at the, the, the thing that's next to my left shoulder in the video camera, that's actually our level device. I never even realized that before until just now. Cool. So I think I was saying in a previous episode, I wish we had a, a level thing on our tool. Well, we do. It's been there all along, and I just didn't even realize it. So that's uh, that's awesome. Okay, so I wish there was a, a way I could keep my hand level, too, <laughs> while I'm doing this. But um, So it's very sensitive, though, too. I mean, boo, can, it's hard to get it on, on zero and keep it there while I'm moving. Okay, so I'm going to try my best to keep this as level as possible. And what we might end up doing is um, just going to, you know, the, the as far as the drill will go. And then, see, the thing is, though, is I went up a little bit there. So I don't know if it's going to keep, if I'm going to keep going up or not. Let's just do another one. So we want to be as in the center as possible. Probably right about there-ish. Whoops, nope. And we'll get right up to the wall. And then we'll make sure that we're leveled out. Which is right here. And then make sure we're pointing directly east. Man, that's hard. Okay, here we go. Don't move the mouse. See, the problem with this is it's just very gradually stair-stepping up, which is, I want, I kind of don't want it to do that. I want it to stay level uh, because otherwise we'll, we might pop out before we get, you know, 310 meters away. Hmm. So maybe what we need to do then is, what if we, I keep hitting the wrong button. What if we hold it at, say, like minus two? And then just pop that. Okay, let's try that. So again, make sure we're east and we're minus two. See, it doesn't get the stuff right in front of me, though. So yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I think this is too much messing around, you guys. I think I'm just going to try and hold my hand as still as I possibly can and just go forward and it you know i'll try my best to stay right on the easterly heading and keep the drill somewhere you know around level ish but uh uh it, otherwise this is just going to take forever and i'm still not going to get it right anyway okay so um yeah let's do that and i will meet you at the other end of the tunnel
guys um we are at the end of the tunnel but i got a drone over there looking like he's coming towards me 156 what's my range uh here we go we'll take him out okay um he is too far out of range that those two drones are Okay, so here's where we came out. Um, the problem that I ran into, okay, uh, by going east, and I completely forgot about this, was that we got up against... Let me go down here so I don't get shot. Uh, we got up against this, this, yellow, this yellow border doohickey thingy. I completely bumped up against it, and I couldn't drill any further east, so I ended up having to go south to get, you know, far enough away from the base... So that we, you know, we were beyond 310 meters, basically. Let me see if I can just smooth that out a tad. So it's kind of steep, but I mean, it's not a problem with the, the jump or with the jetpack. So yeah, so there's our base over there. We're 366-ish meters away, which is plenty, plenty far enough away for, for our own turrets not to shoot us. Um, and we're still, you know, about 333 meters away from the actual enemy drone base too. So this should work. Um, we do have our, uh, you know, we should be able to ride the bike down here too. Um, I noticed that if I kept the drill at about minus three and I didn't get, you know, bump right up against the, I know we got some, we're under some water there too. Whoa, turning that corner is going to be interesting. Um, and if I didn't get like right up against the the area that I was mining, I could keep it fairly level. You can see this is pretty pretty level through here. It's not bad at all. Um, okay, that's kind of a pain in the butt. So yeah, through he through here and through that other one, you know, if I just kept my hand real steady at about minus three and didn't bump right up against what I was drilling, I could keep it, you know, fairly level. I didn't really start to notice that until I got going down this tunnel. So this tunnel is a little rougher here. Um, and, we, you know, at, at first I kept going this way, but then I realized that we were going to jump right into the water there. And it wouldn't have mattered anyways because we, we still would have ran into the that little border thing. Uh, so this is all kind of janked out now. Um, I'll probably just patch it up with the filler tool, I think. Okay, so uh, what I want to do now is I want to get 
make like a little chamber down by the by the core and put you know and put a spare core down there and you know some spare weapons and ammo and stuff just like we basically just like we did at the other base and once we do that I think we're ready to fire this thing up and see what happens uh, I have I, I have ammo I've been I've made ammo for it so we should be in pretty good shape ammo wise and uh, these guys are just little bastards so I pretty much just kill them on sight anymore. They used to not buddy, bother you too much, but now in Alpha 10, they are more than like likely to attack you than as not. What I think we're going to do is we're going to go back down there and we're going to do a tunnel that leads out to um, somewhere near the, the solar panel farm. Okay? So let's make sure we got a full jet pack. Alrighty. And uh, and then that will be our you know our way into the tunnel that's uh, closer to the base. Okay, so a couple of things that I want to do while we're here. Let's go ahead and carve out a little spot right here, and I want to grab a. Uh, from the Xerox defense base into the container. We have some extra cargo boxes. Oh, while I'm in this, let's put this meat and stuff in the fridge. And this container here is going to be kind of like our... It's, it's going to be our container for everything in this particular base, at least for the time being. I actually want to put... Uh, well, let's just put that in there for now. Okay, so let's put this crate here there. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to have a spare core that we're going to keep in there and a, and a backup weapon and a little bit of ammo and stuff. So that way if we do, you know, if they do take the base and they kill us and whatnot, we can come back and use this to to uh, get access again. In fact, let's go ahead. We might as well put some explosives in there too because we can just use those to blow the core. And, um, let's see, what else? If we go to the chisel, and we look in here, supply. I don't have an extra core in there. Um, okay, I can't access the constructor from down here of the chisel, so... And we're, I'm not ready to power this up yet. I don't want to power it up until we're actually ready, because that's when the attacks will probably start. Okay, so let's head. Uh, make sure we're heading due north. And again, we want to keep this at about minus three. That's close enough. And then we're just going to hold our hand real still, and then just kind of slowly move forward. And that does a pretty decent job of keeping things level. As long as you don't, you know, don't move that hand and, you know, don't go too fast to where your own feet aren't on, you know, level, level training while you're doing this. But you don't want to get too close either because then it put, makes like a little hump because it can't get the stuff that's right at your feet. And then that's where things start to get un uneven. You know what? Hmm, I would I thought we would have been there by now. Uh, okay, well, let's keep going. Of course, we are we are pretty deep down, so we're going to have to uh, let's take a look and see. We can't really see it doesn't it doesn't show our solar panel farm on the map, but it looks like we're right at the shore there. Um, and I don't, I don't mind the entrance to this actually being underwater. That's probably not a bad idea. Um, we got to be like right at the thing. All right, you know what I'm gonna do.
let's go here. See, that's a pretty, pretty nice level tunnel, isn't it? Not bad. Okay. From here, let's go straight up. So basically, we'll be up against the wall. We'll make sure we're 80 degrees and we're still facing north. And we're just going to go straight up. Okay, we're not that far down. Oh, we're not that far down at all. Okay, look at that. Cool. We're right underneath the... Right underneath the solar panel farm. Nice. Okay. So, that's good. This block here, though, we're, I wonder exactly where we're at. Let's see if we can launch our drone here. Okay, so that's going into the water. Um, that's going back towards the drone base. I'm just curious to see what is behind this block, or above it, I should say. Hmm. I don't know if we can get out of there, though. But we could do it with this one instead. Yeah, that should work. Okay, let's put this back here. And then what we're going to do here, this is like a secret ent entrance to the base, is let's put elevators in here. And we'll have to go through the water, but that's not a big deal. The only way to get rid of that water is to fill it with earth, and that is a huge pain in the butt, and I don't want to do that. So let's attach that elevator. We're going to have to carve a little bit more away uh, from here. So let's get see try and get the drone lined up as best as we can. It's really sensitive. There. Um I wonder if I want to line this with blocks. So, there we go. I don't like that seaweed sticking out there. Um, can we get rid of that by doing this, the flattener tool? Yeah, you know what? Whatever. We're just going to have to live with it. I'm not sure how to get rid of that at this point. Let's uh, carve this out. Just a, just a smidge. Boop. All right, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> we'll fill this in too so we don't fall in the little crack there. I think that works pretty good. So secret entrance to our secret tunnel that we'll use to retake our base if we get taken out by the Xerox. So let's go into the P menu. Let's group everything. And then this guy we're going to name uh, Core Supply Box. There we go. And then we'll just load it up, you know, from up above with what it needs.
Okay, guys. Well, I think that's it for this episode. Um, in the, the next episode, I think we'll be ready to start this thing up and see what happens. Uh, fire it up and let her rip. And uh, we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Come and hang out with us on Discord. Come and hang out with me on a live stream. We do live stream several times a week on Twitch. And you can find the links to both of those places in the About section of the YouTube channel. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.